Let's make an HTML page to show off the planets. To make a new HTML page, we need to make a new file. Go to File, New File. It's always a good idea to save your file so you get the automatic code coloration and formatting. I will call this planets.html. As this series goes along, we'll continue to learn faster ways to work. Atom and many text editors have built-in code snippets. For example, just type HTML and press Enter, and it'll print a basic HTML page. Fill in the title tags in the head. Now use some of the semantic tags learned in earlier videos. We can go back to the index.html and just copy this header section so we don't have to type it again. Now we have a header that has our navigation menu. Notice that there's nothing on our page yet, so add a section. In this section, let's add a number of images and links to the planets. In the project folder, notice there are not any planet images. First, I need to go to the file browser and move the planet images into the image folder in my website project folder. If I go back to Adam, the planets now appear in the file tree. Let's make a list of planets. Type A, then enter to create a link. For now, we'll just leave this as a placeholder. Then type IMG and press enter to create an image tag. Type IMG slash planets slash jupiter.jpg. I will turn on soft wrap to make the code easier to see. Remember to always fill in the alt tag with descriptive information of the image for screen readers. It is also a good idea to add a title tag with a brief title. The title tag will show as a tooltip when the mouse hovers over the image. That is a lot of typing. There's got to be a better way to do it. This time, I press A, then Enter. Again, we're going to leave the link placeholder. Then press Tab to move past the closing tag. Then type IMG Enter. This time I'm going to right click next to the image and copy the project path. Then just paste it in between the quotes after the SRC. No typos and less typing. Add alt and title tags. I will repeat this process for the rest of the images. If I save the page, then I have all of the planet images displayed, but notice that the images are still big. Remember from the earlier video how to make responsive images? Let's do it again on this page. Under the meta character set tag, add a new meta tag. Type name equals viewport. Then type width equals device width, comma, initial scale equals one, and close the tag. Save the page. Still nothing happens. That's because we have to add a little bit of CSS. In the head, type style, then press enter to create internal style tags. Then type IMG space, then add curly braces. Inside, type width 100%. Also, type height colon auto semicolon. Save the page. Now all the planets automatically resize to the viewport and device width. I will give the page a simple footer and save. Now this page is beginning to have some layout and structure.